For the longest time, Tammy Murray and I did not talk about hoaxers on our Bigfoot webcast until we had the Squatch Detective Steve Coles on our show back in April. We realized we had been turning a blind eye and condoned hoaxing by not addressing it. And we've been doing our webcast now for going on three years now. Randy Filipovic, who once went by the moniker Racer X, has created and maintained a blog site dedicated to the infamous hoaxer Rick Dyer. I believe it's called BigfootTrackerNews.blogspot.com. Now, both men are intrinsically linked to one another, whether or not they like it. Randy said this recently, and I believe he's in reference to me and Tammy. Where were these two people two years ago when Dyer was a bigger problem? By these people, I mean people in the community who have a voice. You're right, Randy. Well, you know what? Better late than never. And here we are. And thank you for watching. All Richter, all the time. Now here's the problem. Each Bigfoot generation has had major drama fighting between Bigfoot personalities, like, for instance, Roger Patterson versus Bob Hieronymus, Rene DeHinden versus Grover Krantz, and now Rick Dyer versus the Bigfoot community slash Randy Filipovic. It's in the Bigfoot DNA. Hoaxing it is a very big part of the Bigfoot world, whether or not you agree. It's always been there. To the outside world, that is what Bigfoot is all about. That's what the media likes. As time has gone by, Tammy and I have realized how can we be the number one Bigfoot webcast when we don't present both sides of the story. Other webcasts like, hmm, let's see, God, what's that real shitty one? The Squatcher's Lounge. They sit back with a pompous armchair general puffing on his marijuana vaporizer, casting judgment, being judge and jury without even inviting the other side to present their case. That's not professional. That's not journalism. That's tabloid. That's hearsay. And that is why they are not and will never be the number one Bigfoot webcast. This is my opinion, but I would like to think that the Bigfoot research community does not care about topics like, can Bigfoot screams kill you? Or what to buy the Squatcher for Christmas? Or Bigfoot researchers who've gone insane from dealing with Bigfoot? It's more like Bigfoot researchers have gone insane from listening to such pathetic Daffy Duck bullshit. You're despicable. This is a show, a Bigfoot webcast. We are not Bigfoot experts, nor are you, Mr. Jeff Kelly. However, we will and always be the number one Bigfoot webcast based on content and not opinion or by us proclaiming ourselves to be some self anointed oracle of Bigfooting, like you claim to be. Remember, Jeff. Remember, Jeffrey Kelly. Who gave you your first webcast experience? After Hours did. And because of my having you on my show, God, I think it was episode 5, December 27th, 2012. We had you on with Jim Fox, and Ro Sahibi liked your voice. And because of our After Hours show, you had the exposure for Squatcher's Lounge. Squatcher's Lounge podcast. You have yet to have Mitchell Wilson be a part of this, who you have taken advantage of, in my opinion, for far too long. You are a hypocrite, Jeff Kelly. You use people and you shit on them from the safety of your monitor or from the volume of your microphone. It's time for you to shut up sit down and take notes. Now Jeff Kelly will say, I'm publicly attacking him. No, I'm just being honest. I'm stating facts. It is my opinion that people do not need this so-called Bigfoot reverend preaching who to follow and who to drive out of the community. 
You are not the Bigfoot police. You are just another pot smoking person behind a microphone in front of a camera. Someone should ask Jeff Kelly, if marijuana influences your perception when you are so-called boots on the ground investigating, does that make your research more credible than all the people you want to drum out of the community? Put down the bong and prove me wrong. Now, I apologize if I come off bitchy, but this queen has had enough of this pompous bullshit. You offend everyone you come into contact with. You also physically threaten people on Facebook. Over the past summer, Jeffrey Kelly threatened a dear friend of mine, a friend of mine who had welcomed Jeff into his home, who had taken Jeff up to the Sierras and gone bigfooting with him. Lupe Mendoza recently threatened someone on Facebook. Stacy Brown, yes, my co-star from Bigfoot Bounty, has threatened Christopher York. And then there's Rick Dyer. That is not professional. And you are the host of your own webcast, and you are publicly threatening people. You, Jeff Kelly, are the very thing you preach against, and the biggest hypocrite in the Bigfoot community. Is that what the Bigfoot world wants? The Jeffrey Kelly shit show? I would like to think the research community would like Matt Moneymaker, Dr. Meldrum, and Bob Gimlin. See, there's a difference. There's the online Bigfoot community, Facebook social clicks, this Bigfoot Illuminati of trolls, nose deep in their keyboards, posting their opinions and hate speech. And then there's the actual serious research community. And by all accounts, judging by social media, this so-called Bigfoot community, this Bigfoot Illuminati, are bloodthirsty for Rick Dyer, including you, Jeff Kelly. And whose show is he on? Mine. That's because I'm the number one Bigfoot webcast. Well, here you go, ladies and gentlemen. Rick Dyer, the hoaxer, the bully, the legend. Rick Dyer, welcome to the program. Welcome to After Hours. My name is Richter. I am your host. Richter! What? Leave him alone! It's Judgment Day for Sasquatch. Thanks for driving me like a stud. Now we got Richter go, and we're going to have to hear it about it all night. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bunch of screaming meanies out there, and that's the scoop that has been reported so far. By your opinion that you are no kill, you are dooming the species to be extinct. Well, when you don't believe in Bigfoot, everything you see that might be one is something else. We thought that we had the holy grail of DNA. When are we going to make a video, Richter? And I mean not an X-rated one. Dr. Todd, you've also been called the scoff dick. <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> you can't talk about I can't! Hello? Is this thing on? Am I muted? Can you hear me? Hey, Richter, I've got a question for you. How does it feel to lose Bigfoot Bounty? Hmm. My question is, why do you think Bigfoot is real? Here we go. Hey, Richter, what's your real name? Richter? Richter, Richter yeah, Richter Riolo. Riolo, motherfucker. You can't say motherfucker. Do it. It's Riolo. Can we all say it together? It's Italian. Riolo. 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 <laughs> well, I know something. Don't piss Richter off. <laughs> Tammy Murray, you always ask the one question to every single guest. You know what your question is, so I'm going to let you ask it to Rick Dyer. Rick Dyer. Why do you think Bigfoot is real? Or do you think Bigfoot is real? Well, that's the biggest misconception that, that I have. Uh, everyone thinks that, oh, this guy is just a hoaxer. But I had have my experience. September 6th of 2012, that was real. The tent video, it's real. Shooting Bigfoot, it's real. Everything else, okay, it's a lie. But that was real. Why should we believe you, Rick? Because you're a confessed hoaxer. You've said over and over again, uh, more so recently than ever, that you're a hoaxer. You're oh, always going to be a hoaxer. And I always will be a hoaxer. 
Um, now, the question that you asked me was, did I believe? And I'm, I'm telling you, yes, I believe because of my experiences. Now, you can choose to believe me or not. I don't care. I'm just answering the questions truthfully and honestly. Okay, fair enough. I have a question for, for you. <clears throat> this is what the big uh, issue is with Bigfoot researchers in regards to you. Uh, a good friend of mine, Todd Neese, who is from AmericanPrimate.com, who I respect as a very serious Bigfoot researcher, has a quote. He said, my issue with hoaxers, other than their lack of ethics, is that they give this field of study a black eye. End of quote. Okay, that's why people hate you, Rick Dyer. They think that you're pretty much taking all their hard work and money, time spent on this phenomenon, and taking them to the cleaners. You're making money off of hoaxing and getting the media's attention when the media is not even, even considering for a second that maybe this is real. They're more focused on you. So what are your feelings about that? I mean, where should I start? Where should I start? Because it's, it's so much that I want to say, Richter. It, it, it's so much that I want to say, Rick Dyer isn't the problem. Y'all know who Rick Dyer is. The Bigfoot community knows who Rick Dyer is. The Bigfoot community could give a care less about my experiences, about my hoaxes. They could care less. It's the media who loves it. The media don't want to post a guy's experience 10 year, years ago in the woods of Montana. They want to post, this guy's giving us a body. That's what they want to post. They want to post good news. They want to post funny news. And Rick Dyer is not the problem. Rick Dyer is the solution. Nearly a year ago, we introduced you to a man who claimed to have shot and killed Bigfoot in San Antonio. The alleged incident was featured in a documentary that left more questions than answers. Today, the Bigfoot hunter is finally releasing pictures of the creature's body. Tim Gerber has the latest on this bizarre story. Bigfoot is 100% real. There's no question about that. Rick Dyer has been saying that for well over a year now, claiming he shot and killed one of the mythical creatures in these woods on the northwest side in September 2012. Until today, he's never provided any proof beyond this grainy video clip. I have been worried for so long. I have been put off for so long. And finally, we went up to Washington and uh, got the body. This is a picture of the alleged Bigfoot. It is the real deal. It's Bigfoot. I will tell you who the problem is. The so-called real researchers, J.C. Johnson, uh, uh, Melba Ketchum, everybody that participates in a hoax, and no one says anything to them about it. J.C. Johnson, the Erickson Project, and all those guys went to Dallas to have this big press conference and only one camera showed up. Uh, we'd like to welcome you all to our press conference. Um, we apologize for the delay and the technical difficulties. We have two forms of internet and neither one of them are working because we had some other um, groups that were supposed to be represented here and um, our hotspot didn't work and the, the uh, internet provided here didn't so we do apologize for that. But we need to go ahead and proceed. And they had the big press conference because of a Chewbacca costume, plain and simple. Those are the people that is messing up the Bigfoot community. Not to mention their, oh, one more thing. If you want to have a press conference, get with me and I will tell you how to get more than one camera at your press conference. That's all you had to do. Uh, Number two, uh, if you're going to uh, to do a Chewbacca costume, cut off the damn teeth, okay? Ma make something different. Don't don't just put it up there as, as you see it. Dye the hair, uh, color the teeth, take out the teeth, put a cow's tongue in there. Something different. I will tell you if you need to throw another press conference. And these are DNA people that's supposed to be. Credible, but when 
when the public sees this crap, they laugh at it. Oh, that's that's the credible DNA girl, right? Yeah. Or J.C. Johnson or Alex Hearn going on the news the same night saying, oh, that's real, 100%. Oh, come on. They laugh at people like that. Now, as far as 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 Justin, you asked a question, so let me finish, right? Please uh, go right ahead. Uh, as far as as Justin, bear hunter. I mean, a really great bear hunter, a really nice guy. I must say so. He is a really nice guy. I have no problem with Justin. I think he's a great guy. But a bear hunter that you can see holding bears like this, smiling, like, oh, I just shot a bear photo, but he shoots a couple of Bigfoot, and what? No photo, just leaves them there? A, a freaking trophy hunter. Come on, bullshit. And then you have uh, Lupe Mendoza and uh, the, the, the Bob, Bob Garrett. Bob Garrett says that the the police, or not the police, the government came came by and he they took his Facebook page, they took his radio show, they they made him be quiet on someone I never heard of before in my life and until a couple of the days ago, but they're gonna take all his shit. Okay, how about take Dr. Meldrum's crap? Because he's the one that's that's promoting the existence of Bigfoot and and, and doing all these these shows and, and he's a a real scientist, not a cat veterinarian. He, he's a real scientist. They would take his stuff and keep him quiet. It's, and then guess what? There's over 40 likes on that post. There's 40 likes. And then there's guys that's coming from everywhere saying, oh, I, I checked out this story and it is 100% true. And then they get likes. This is why no one takes the Bigfoot community seriously. Not Rick Dyer. Well, I can I cannot disagree with you in regards to that whole fiasco with Melba Ketchum and that Chewbacca Matilda, but you also forgot to mention Ed Smith's Daisy in a Box, who people like uh, Rob Gaudet were uh, making out to be real. Remember all that, Tammy? Oh yeah. Um, you have to be careful with uh, what you stand by. Now, having Rick Dyer on After Hours does not mean we support or endorse or promote him. It means we are not hypocrites. We're not going to say, Rick Dyer is an asshole. Fuck him. You know what? We'll say it to your face. Hey, Rick Dyer, fuck you for coming to my work. Why don't you talk about that? And let's talk about how we hashed things out. If anyone here, other than Randy Filipovic, if anyone here in the Bigfoot community has a has an issue with Rick Dyer, it was me for a long time. You came to my work and you told the hostess what? Tell everybody what you told the hostess. I told the hostess, tell Richter to give me a call. I'm looking for him. The hostess relayed to me, Rick, tell Richter I'll be coming back for him. Now let's let's clarify this, Ricky, because Rick Dyer, how tall are you? I am uh, six two, two hundred and fifty pounds. Uh, I'm 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 a big guy. Like everyone who sees me in person is is really shocked uh, how big I am. So and you can see why that waitress interpreted that in in that manner, right? I just wanted to kind of well, clarify. That well, 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 well. The thing is that that I went. And, and the only reason I, I found out where he worked was uh, Sharon Lee. Uh, now, she told me to, to, to here's a Richter's schedule, here's this and here's that. And I, I am a firm believer in, in going and confronting people. I am a firm believer in that face-to-face. -face. Uh, but, but I never wanted to, to fight him or intimidate him. In fact... I went there with my wife. I went there with all my kids. And so you did you apologize to him? Yes, yes, and I apologize now. Um, and here's the best part, Rick. I believe you, and I accept it. Now, people say, like Jeffrey Kelly, 
Oh, you can't accept an apology from a liar. Once a liar, always a liar. <laughs> like Daffy Duck. <laughs> then right. everybody would be a liar. Then everybody's a liar. Well, see, could you, Rick, right now, could you apologize to Randy Filipovic? For what? See, you can't. So that means you stand up for something. Yet you were able to apologize to me, but... For whatever's happened between you two grown men, you cannot apologize to him. So therefore, if Rick Dyer was truly such a liar and can't be taken seriously, he would have used right now that very moment, that platform, to play the Bigfoot community and be like, oh, Randy, I'm sorry for the things I've done. He didn't. He didn't. There is some character here. There is some integrity. Are you going to say, oh, Rick Dyer is picking and choosing who he apologizes to or who he can use at a given time? I don't believe that. I don't believe that for a second. Now, so. now, now the thing with myself and Randy is, is none of my doing. He started a blog about me, all Dyer, all the time. You forgot to mention that in your uh, uh, intro. Okay, I can I can read. Didn't I say it? In the, in the, no, you you said Bigfoot Tracker News. Okay, Randy Philpovic started a blog about me. I didn't start a blog about him. I didn't know who he was. I didn't care who he was. He started by the name of Ray, Racer Rex. And but but the thing is, his blogs got worse and worse and worse. And that is when and that is only when. I found out who he was, and then I released his name. But he started with me first. If he would let it go, then I would let it go. But but he he um, he, he just won't. It's, it's just makes me crazy. Like why? And then and that's what I thought back then. But then I thought, oh my God, this is great because a person is. Is, is concentrating on me 24 hours a day, two or three blogs a day about me. Okay, I'm going to make this work for me. And then that's when I turned around and made everything work for me. And it has. And without Randy Filipovic, I wouldn't have had a successful tour. I wouldn't have been on count, countless news and uh, I've I've had people on the road call us because they see see that I'm causing such a fuss and they want me to come. I have got a TV appearance in Japan and the UK this year paying one fifteen thousand one seven first class trips there because of my controversy, because of people like Randy giving me attention. I don't like that he lies about me, but, you know, I get the rewards, too. Now, uh, as far as mine and his relationship, he's never called me. I have countless, countlessly tried to get in contact. I tried to get him to come on and face me face-to-face -face on a live hangout. He just won't do it. <laughs> you are the bad guy. You are the Bigfoot villain. You are Darth Vader. You are the maker of nightmares for these people. And it's like they live to bash you. Two weeks ago, Rick Dyer, Tammy and I had you in a basic hangout, and we invited the Bigfoot community, this precious Bigfoot Illuminati, to come and let you have it. Tell Rick Dyer how you feel. No <laughs> one... Richter? That, sorry for interrupting, but that was not an interview. Your However, that was a public Steve, hangout. Right, public, right, this is the interview. Your and front this front is front. why we are holding the Bigfoot community just as responsible as we're holding Rick Dyer. Everyone's hands are dirty. Everyone's guilty of saying shit and hurting each other. Everyone. Not one of you watching right now has ever not done one thing single thing to someone on Facebook or in Bigfoot related stuff. Everyone. Everyone. You can think you're a saint. You're not. 
everybody is human. We all suffer from human nature, and we all forget what the subject should be about. It's supposed to be about Bigfoot, but yet everything has to be personal. The following clip is from the open hangout on January 2nd, where the Bigfoot community was invited to tell Rick Dyer how they felt about him. Ask questions or tell him to his face, he is an asshole. No one did. Instead, people chose to act infantile and continue on with their dark tetrad on Facebook. And, and so many others that no matter who you are or what you do, if you say anything negative about Rick Dyer, your involvement is forgiven, just as long as you bash Rick Dyer. So, so you can't win, and, and I have never thrown anybody under the bus. They have jumped under the bus and ran over themselves. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me read this comment well, to you. Okay, here's, here's what... Uh, how could, big, could big you has... add something for Randy? Could you... Tell him, why don't he be a man and get on here and video chat uh, and ask the questions himself. Well, I posted Talking. that it's open for co open for anyone to join. You know, end of story. Just read what it says under the post. But as predicted, people will post nasty, vile things, but they won't come and talk to the person they're trashing. Exactly. They so, want to um, hide behind their computers. They, you know, me, me and Steve Alcorn don't get along, but he is there, and he's asking me questions face to face, and I respect that. I like Steve. Uh oh, Steve! I just said I like you. You're in trouble now. <laughs> oh shit! There goes my reputation. <laughs> All right, well, Holly, get you, know, out. Get out. you know, Rick. You know, Rick. Uh, that I'm friends with Steve Calls, and I'm friends with Randy Filipovic. Uh, and but that doesn't mean that I'm gonna. And no offense to Randy, because he's he is a Who's good that? friend of mine. Oh, what I'm trying to say is, but I'm gonna ask you the questions I always have. You know, I've messaged you on Facebook. We've talked on the phone. Here, you know, because I believe you should go to the source, and in this instance, you are the source. He likes to hide behind stuff and won't come out and face me. And uh, I feel that if someone is talking bad about you, then I feel that you should go face them. Be a man. Get everything out in the open and squash it and move on. He won't do that. And the reason he won't do that, and this is my opinion, is that he has never had the, the feel that he has right now. And I'm talking about he has never had the confidence and the feel and the following that I've given him. He brags about having 8 million views, but let's back up. Those are 8 million views, and your site is called All Dyer All the Time, only talks about Rick Dyer. I'm the reason you have 8 million views. So that just, that in my mind is 8 million more views that I have. Well, some could say that those 8 million views are the, Okay, there's no 8 million people in the Bigfoot community. The 4,000 people that are in this Bigfoot Illuminati hate you and will go there and join in on this lynching. That's my take on that. Uh, this precious Bigfoot community that so many people revere, like Steven Stroyford, oh, be prepared for the backlash. What backlash? Tammy, is the Bigfoot community paying your cell phone bill? Uh, no. Um, they're not paying for my parents' elderly care. So we don't owe the Bigfoot community anything. Can I if tell you anything, what the Bigfoot community is paying for? They're, they're paying for my house. They're paying for my cars. They're, they're paying for my uh, children's college fund. They're, they're paying for it because they give me the attention. Okay, let's say that's true for the sake of argument. That's why they hate you. Well, then stop paying attention to me. They can't because it's like moth 
moths being attracted to the flame. It's like the deer caught in the headlights. You know, Look, um, Richter, I will say on your show tonight that Rick Dyer will go away, go away faster than you can blink your eyes. You take down your blogs about me, I'm gone. I will take down all my Bigfoot stuff, and I am gone. Okay, I, and, and I, then these armchair generals like Jeff Kelly would say, oh, he's lying. <laughs> Well, well, then we will have a a mediator, and and I will guarantee you, I will leave forever, forever. I don't need the Bigfoot community anymore. Okay, I'm glad you brought that up because you have the media's attention, and you have a history of smear campaigns being hurtful, saying bad things, hurtful things to people from the safety of behind your monitor, blah, blah, blah. We are all guilty, all of us. All our hands are dirty. All our hands are dirty here. No, Richter. No, Richter. No, no. I don't ever talk about anyone who doesn't talk about me first. Okay, okay so let's say Tammy says you are... Uh, ugly son of a bitch. Now you're gonna turn around. Well, well, fuck you, Tammy. You're an even uglier no, no, no. son of a bitch. Is that is that I mean, bro no. up? Why why can't you turn the blind eye? No. Can you like turn the blind eye? See, it's not but, that hard. But, I've been but, I've been holding back. I've been hmm, about this so-called reverend for a long time, and I'm letting it all out now. I am not a hypocrite. I will have you on my show to present your case. I'm not gonna be like the Jeffrey Kelly shit show. Okay, so if I'm going to get backlash, it's going to be from him and his little flock that look to him and, oh, Jeffrey <laughs> Kelly, lead the way. Show us who to drum out of the Bigfoot community. Fuck you and your Bigfoot community, god damn it. You're not paying our bills. You didn't get me on Bigfoot Bounty. You're not doing shit for me except calling me a faggot and a cocksucker. Fuck you. God, it pisses me off. Precious yeah. Bigfoot community. Ugh. Well, well this, this, this bullshit Illuminati. Who yeah. is this Bigfoot fucking Illuminati? Ah. <laughs> you know what's being exposed here? It's the real agenda of the Bigfoot community, and this is people in, in general. This doesn't uh, just mean Bigfoot. This also is about the same kind of thing happens in religion and politics and any kind of organized groups. The real agenda is uh, trash talk behind the anonymity of a computer. And, and you know what, Tim? Now, now let me answer Rick, finish answering Richter's question before he interrupted me. Uh, <laughs> don't piss me off. Uh, don't don't piss, piss off Richter, i tell you that. <laughs> look, look um, uh, and that, what Richter said about if someone talks about you, then you attack. That's what everyone thinks in their mind that I just go out and attack people. And and it's not that if Tammy says this one or two times, but if she constantly just beats at my door, doing this, spreading this, that's when I attack back. I didn't attack back on on uh, Randy until he had like 60 blogs about me. And then that's when I started to attack back. I, I don't attack people. They attack me first, and, and then when they attack me first, they cry victim. You are. That's how you really feel. <laughs> <laughs> so I asked Rick right now, why can't you turn the blind eye? And he says he can't because people keep coming at him constantly, so he has to fight back. And then it's like fighting on the playground. It's nothing but sixth grade recess bully fighting happening and people circling and cheering on that Tammy and I saw two weeks ago in coalition and on Steve Alcorn's thread when all these people were just, oh, Steve. <laughs> Tammy, remember what they were saying? And then Steve playing to Randy Filipovic. Steve Alcorn turned it into an interview. We were just hanging out, talking to Rick Dyer, and yet people were demanding to air this interview. It wasn't an interview. This is the interview.
it and I have posted, a... I posted it as a chance to tell Rick Dyer how you feel, how you really feel. He's in this hangout. That's all it was. And Randy Filipovic was invited, and he did not participate. However, Randy has felt his duty to the Bigfoot community to blast and attack and post and throw mud all over everywhere on Facebook. You were invited to come tell Rick Dyer how you feel. You two men had the opportunity to probably work this out as grown adults. I was there. You know, yeah, and so was I, so was Tammy. You know, quite a few other people were there that we invited. Yeah, four other you, people. Randy, you were invited to you could have had Steve Elkhorn speak on your behalf, but instead you choose to repeat the cycle. You choose to engage in the he hurt me, he said this to me, he did that to me. Uh, uh. Stop whining, stop crying, be a man. Randy, I want to respect you. I'm trying to be neutral on this, but I can't. I can't be neutral because I see and I read everything that Randy has posted and done. Randy, stop being the victim. If Rick Dyer has truly harmed you in any way, shape, or form, or accused you of anything that is not true, then get off your Canadian pedestal, come to the United States, and file charges like a grown adult would do. Shut up. For real. It's stupid. I'm, t I'm, I'm set off. I am so set off right now. This is bullshit. Settle down, Ricky. Mm. Settle down. And, and, and I can uh, address this now with my little thing that I was, the stuff that I wrote here, okay, covering just what you're talking about. Okay, I'll calm down. Go and on. this is, Randy, because I know you're watching, and I, I have interacted with Randy occasionally in the past, but I wouldn't say that he's a, a friend. Um, you know, I mean, I could go into a long spiel about d defining a friendship and what does it mean on Facebook. I think that we all can agree that it, uh, for most of us on Facebook, most of the people on our friends list, it means something different than it does in a face-to-face -face relationship. Even Richter and I, we never met face-to-face -face until last summer. We had, we've known each other for going on, what, four years now? Yeah. But we had never uh, met face to face until last summer. Well, last last summer and last fall, we got a chance to go squatching together. We went, we camped, we hung out, we traveled, we got to know each other. Our relationship is at a different level now. We are truly friends. And people that have never met and have some kind of um, you know in depth loyalty to their Facebook friends uh, really need to think long and hard about where their loyalty is going because you really don't truly know someone until you've met them and hung out with them. Right? So why should Rick Dyer have control of your emotions? Randy? Other people on Facebook? Yes, he feeds on them like a predator. Thank you for watching. Right, Rick? <laughs> You are his biggest promoter. Um, will this interview change anything? Will hoaxing ever stop? No. There will always be liars, attention whores, and people trying to make a buck. However, you are in control whether you realize it or not. If there's something on TV that you don't like, what do you do? You turn the channel. If there's someone that you don't like in your town or at your work, don't associate with them. This is what grown-ups do. This is what people do in the real world. Take control of your life and make smart choices. Don't bitch about everything because you made bad choices. If there's something on your computer screen that displeases you, don't click. If there's someone on your Facebook that you don't want to see or talk to, block and move on. If this makes you unhappy, then don't do it. A doctor goes, uh, or a patient goes into a doctor's office and he said, Doc, it hurts when I do this. You know what the doctor said? Then don't do that. People, if you don't like what we're presenting here, then go away. Now, here's a very important question, Tammy. When Randy Filipovic began his 
Bigfoot career going after Rick Dyer. He did it under an alias, Racer X. And for the longest time, I thought it was Steve Alcorn because it smelled like Steve Alcorn. <laughs> it did. I did not believe it for a second. Mm -hmm. And then when Steve Alcorn told me, no, it's Randy Filipovic, I was like, that's weird. Why him? Why is this guy putting so much hard work and effort into showing how Rick Dyer is a hoaxer? Who died and made you the speaker of this precious Bigfoot community to protect the Bigfoot Reese? Okay, Rick Dyer has said, has said and done some hurtful things. He has apologized to me, and it was very important for me to address to Rick Dyer what he did with Sean and his family. He needed to apologize and atone for that, and he has. Now it's up to Sean and his family to accept it. It's up to them. It's not up to me. It's not between me and them anymore. It's between Rick and and Sean and his family. And Randy Filipovic told me that um, that's one of the reasons why he went after Rick Dyer is because of uh, what he did to Sean and what was posted online. And I don't care who did what first. The thing is, Rick is trying to make amends. And yet you people are not believing it and say so you can't believe a word, a word he's saying. Well, then you know what? Get the pitchfork. Load your shotgun. Drive to, his, drive to his house and fucking shoot him. Because that's what you're doing online. It is cyberbullying. You oh, can say, oh, you... That out. <laughs> <Don't> say that. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what they're doing. They're killing someone online. It's a smear campaign. Character assassinations. We see this all the right. time. And it's fucking coalition. <laughs> You know, uh, in the Bigfoot Precious community by Susie Matayash, who was up against Dr. Johnson's Squatch in USA. All these different Facebook groups are fighting amongst each other. That's your Bigfoot community? And then here's Rick Dyer making money off of hoaxing. And then you guys all, like, circle your bandwagons around him, and I hear feedback, and go after him. And yet they are being just as disingenuous as Rick Dyer is. God, stop, people. It's supposed to be about Bigfoot, the search for truth. Um, we have this big dysfunctional family. We have attention whores like me, and you have hoaxers like Rick Dyer. You have armchair generals like Jeff Kelly, and you have serious researchers, and you have these people that have no lives that are on Facebook, nose deep on their keyboards, creating all these kind of fake accounts and attacking others. That is the Bigfoot community. And to me, that I call it that's bullshit. It's stupid. Yeah. All right. Well, I, I did you. Uh, I stole this post from some group that I was in the other day reading, and it said some guy posted this. I don't remember who. I apologize for not giving you credit for it, dude. Whoever you are. But if you take away misidentifications, lies, hoaxes, fantasies, fighting, personal attacks, trash talk. What's left in the Bigfoot community? Not a whole hell of a lot. Right. And to me, that is not worth defending. It is not worth protecting. Not worth being the rallying cry of driving out these hoaxers from our community. Who died and made you in charge? No one. If you don't like what Rick Dyer does, don't watch. If you don't like what he says, block and move on, like Tammy says. If you don't like this faggot you're looking at, don't watch my show, motherfucker. Fuck you. Fuck you. Ah. Ugh. Take All control right. of your life. Oosa. All right, be a pussy. Oosa. Oosa. Yes. <laughs> I need some Zen Yeti, Michael Merchant. <laughs> <laughs> Wrap your arms around me and put the zen. I need your Michael Merchant zen. I told y'all that was true. No, I'm sorry. I miss <laughs> Team Taser. <laughs> All right. Some people say, Rick, that you are a shark swimming in the minnow pond, preying on the unsuspecting. If you have been in the Bigfoot world longer than three days, then you're going to know who Rick Dyer is. He is a hoaxer. He is the best one. He is the king of the hoaxers. He is Rick Dyer, okay? And then there's others who are alleged hoaxers like Todd Standing who kind of come close, but they're not Rick Dyer. And then there's others who um, Sharon Lee said on Monster X Radio, she's claiming that Stacy Brown is a hoaxer based on what evidence? Because of his thermal. We all have opinions about 
is thermal. Does that make him a hoaxer? Were we there? No. Is he proclaiming to be a hoaxer? No. Rick Dyer is the only one here who's proclaiming to be an honest and true hoaxer. All right? That, that, so, I like that term, honest and true hoaxer. <laughs> That's going to stick. <laughs> P.T. Rick. Okay. P.T. Bond. So, <laughs> if you know that Rick Dyer is a hoaxer, he can't hurt you anymore. It's like you can see him coming like Jaws. If you see Jaws coming for you, swim the other way. Rick Dyer makes us look stupid to the outside world because the, Bigfoot, the, the world views Bigfoot as stupid. We think it's cool. Bigfoot is amazing. It's real. There's evidence. There's scientific scrutiny, blah, 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 blah. But I guarantee the whole world outside of your bedroom door thinks we're stupid for thinking Bigfoot's real. And this man has capitalized off of that and has made money, legal money. Oh, you could say he's a fraud and he's a con man, blah, 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 blah. How come, Rick Dyer, how come you are not in jail? If all these people are saying you're a con man and a fraud and you've stolen money and lied to children, blah, blah, how come you are broadcasting from your room and not a jail cell? Uh, the reason is because I have not broken any laws, not even come close. Everybody is threatening me with everything. I have never had one phone call, one phone call from any law enforcement agency that I didn't contact first because someone came to my house, because someone took pictures of my children, because someone vandalized my Corvette. That's the only contact I had with the police. The Bigfoot community, this precious Bigfoot Illuminati, this Facebook social clique, they don't take me seriously. They never have because my sexuality. They say, Richter is a flaming homo. Thank you, Paul Holsey, for saying that on your blog talk show. Flaming. Paul Holsey? Yeah. <laughs> you know okay. what? So, I, you may, know. I may fly to fucking Vegas and let you fuck me up the ass just to fucking get hit. Fuck it. Uh, I've seen your nudes. I've seen your nudes, Rick Dyer. I'm sorry, you don't measure up. Damn it! I don't know whether to be be disappointed at that or happy. <laughs> no, and no, no, but, but see, see, we're able to joke and laugh at ourselves. This precious Bigfoot community can't do that. They take themselves way too seriously. A flaming homo made it on Bigfoot bounty. That's right. Well, he used his sexuality to get on Bigfoot bounty. That's right. I did. It's like a woman with big, beautiful tits. She's going to use whatever she has to get ahead in life. Look at Madonna. Look at Madonna. Okay, she also had this up here, as do I. Okay, Rick Dyer has this as well. However, Rick, i got to say, where you have your flaws is where you attack people, and I wish to God you didn't. I wish you had someone that was behind you that was a PR person that says, okay, take the microphone away, take the keyboard away. Try that. <laughs> Try that. Tried the try tried that throughout the whole tour, Richter. But but when when people keeps coming at you constantly and constantly, you have to fire back. The you you cannot just sit there and take it. You have to fire back. And uh, uh, some very serious allegations. You have to fire back. You can't sit there and say, oh, I can't let them say that. There's no way. So you have to fire back. Now, now look, y'all, and this is going out to all the people in the Bigfoot community. Look, I will never attack no one. Just don't attack me. Randy, let's me and you and Richter and whoever just have a closed hangout and let's talk this out. Let's talk this and let's be man and and if you want me to apologize to you, fine. I am sorry. If this if if if, if it will make everything in and everybody concentrate on what they need to concentrate. I am sorry. I am sorry. I'm sorry to whoever wants me to apologize, and this is a very sincere apology. Come on now. Let, let's be men. Let, let's, let, let's, let's just just squash it. Squash it. I know what's sad is that you could be 110% honest right now and genuine, yet these people sitting behind their monitors won't believe it because of the amount of um, lies. 
I don't care amount of lies yeah. or the amount of hatred you've done. Um, they're 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 going to think that there's no way you could be this honest because of who you are. They call you a sociopath. Okay, so uh, it, it, it's. <laughs> Can I get paid for that or no? Isn't a sociopath someone that hurts people intentionally? Isn't that what a sociopath is? Has oh. no regard for um, other people's feelings and livelihood and... Oh, well, that well, if that's the case, because I didn't realize that that was the case. Uh, oh, oh, my God, look, y'all, I don't go after anyone who don't attack me first. And the biggest problem with the community. When they attack me hard, they attack me really hard. And when I fire back, guess what? They're the victim. Oh, mean, bad, Rick Dyer said this. But they don't say, oh, uh, uh, you said this, 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 and this first. You posted his house first. This, this. And when Rick Dyer does that to you, oh, oh my God, you're the victim. Come on now. Shoot, you... everybody, Victor, everybody, everybody mm -hmm. that meets me, everybody loves me. And they only stop loving me when I fire them, tell them to go fuck off. They never leave on their own and talk shit about Rick Dyer. They always got to be fired or, or me telling them to go fuck off. Then they start talking shit. Nobody, period. Nobody, period. Nobody. Hey, Nobody. Rick, what are some of the ever reasons? left me on good terms or, or me not firing them and talk shit? No. What are some of the reasons why you fired some of these people? I'd love to hear the dirt on that. Okay. No names. Just tell us some of the reasons. Uh, I'm going to guess money. Being drunks. Is drunks in the Bigfoot community? Drunks. What? Yeah, uh, a lot of people. In fact, I'm, I'm not going to mention no names, but I made a person cry on a live hangout that's posted everywhere because I fired him. A grown man cried. Cried. And then guess what? Now he's talking shit about me. Uh, so so it, it's 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 crazy. Uh, money is the big deal. Money when when you make the money like I do, Richter. You the friends will come out of the woodwork. I got your back. I got your back. Whatever, man. I got your back. I'm not here for money. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. And then when they start seeing your pockets bulge out. Oh, they're here for you. Well, what you're giving me is not quite good enough. I want more, and I want more, and I want more. And then when they say they want more and more and more, I say, I'm sorry, you're fired. Or, I'm sorry, go go home. That, that's it. No. And then that's when they turn, oh, Rick Dyer did this. Rick Dyer don't brush his teeth. Rick Dyer stunk up the motor home all during the tour. Like, come Oh, man. Ew, is that for real? <laughs> you know what? Uh, the, 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 uh, the motor coach <laughs> was a really nice coach, okay? But the bathroom was really small. <laughs> and if you have to take a dump, you have to take a dump. And, uh, and, and they said, oh, Rick Dyer never washes his hands. I have a phobia. I have to wash my hands. It's weird. I cannot, if the, if the house was on fire and my hands fell in mud, I would have to get that mud off my hands. Why in the hell wouldn't I do that with shit? Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. Now, now, now there's, there's just too much shit going on. Too much shit's going on, and, and I'm here showing my face, my face, to you, asking y'all, let's just close this down. Let's just stop this. I am, I am ready. And, and when y'all keep attacking me, it's just giving me more fuel to say, well, oh, oh, Another person just called me that I can go and make some money off this big, but I got to keep it going. Uh, and, and, and not saying that I'm going to get the job. 
Uh, but two days ago, uh, on Monday, a producer called me for a show. And they said they found me because they knew that I would make up shit. And their whole show was about you going out to investigate it, and, you, and you've got to recreate this. Recreate it to that standard or better, or you can't recreate it all, and you have to say it's real. And, and they said, I'm the perfect person. And they knew everything about me, and the reason they know everything about me is because of you. And that's why. Bigfoot community... Now, now I don't cause trouble, but if you try to cause trouble for me, oh, I will attack back, and I will continue to, to attack back. So why don't all of us get together in a hangout and talk? Because I never see any of the people that harasses me all the time, Randy, on a video. Oh, no way. He would never be on a video. Ever. Ever. There's only three or four pictures of Randy known out there right now. Why is that? Because people feel comfortable hiding behind their keyboard. You think, I hide behind my keyboard? I was on tour with, with my locations weeks in, in advance, and people kept saying, I'm going to come out to your show, and I'm going to beat your ass. And I said, okay, come on out. You know where I be. You know where I am. So, and guess who? Guess how many people came out? Zero. Zero people came out to confront me. I am ready to sit down at the table. Why can't y'all? These people, they can't. I don't think they want to. They enjoy hating on you and bashing you. And that was evident two weeks ago. And even Steve Alcorn realized that, and that shocked him. I'm like, really, Steve? That surprised you? Steve Elkhorn, I said to him, Steve, is this your first time dealing with the Bigfoot community? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on, because we have a Steve, lot of questions. Steve Alcorn said himself that I was a good guy outside of the Bigfoot community. Those are his exact words. That's he why said, we're here. That's why we're talking to you now. He said that himself. But yet, he plays this game because I caught him letting people post about uh, Rick Dyer's army career, Rick Dyer's arrest record. All that shit is bullshit. But the thing is, none of that, ha none of that has to do with Bigfoot. None of that has to do with Bigfoot or your hoax or your tour or the freezer scandal. Uh, so you have fans. Rick Dyer, Rick Dyer, Rick Dyer has fans. He has many followers. I know the precious Bigfoot Illuminati community doesn't like to hear that. Oh, oh, oh. No, it's true, people. Why am I having to be the realist here? He has people that watch his every move and think he's hysterical and encourage him. This is true. This is fact. Now, I'm not saying I'm one of them. I'm not. Tammy's not saying she's one of that. We are not sponsoring, endorsing, or promoting... We are here. If people call us, me and Tammy, the voice of Bigfoot, time for you to sit down because you're in the principal's office. You need to all own up for what you have said and done. This man is here on, on our show defending himself, apologizing, trying to make amends with a bunch of freaking people sitting behind their monitors throwing mud. And it's never going to end. It's never going to go away. So you know, I can honestly say, Ricky, that up until uh, right around Christmas, uh, based on you know what uh, you and I had talked about uh, about what Steve had said about Rick Dyer, that I had gone into my Facebook, and this has been I've been on Facebook in the Bigfoot community for a few years now, and because I was not interested in hoaxing, I blocked Rick Dyer. I did not go to his websites and look. If somebody posted crap about it, I did not click on it because I wasn't interested. I w wasn't interested in supporting a, a hoaxer or uh, you know knowing anything about it. But you can't avoid it because so many people uh, harp on it all the time that it's it's in your face. So you know what I said before about making choices and taking control of your Facebook it works up to a point, but 
everybody in the Bigfoot community knows your name, knows who you are. And let's talk about my mother for a second. My mother's not into Bigfoot, but she knows who Rick Dyer is. Do you know why? Because he's been on TV. He's been on CNN. He's been on, on the news. And her, when she checks her Yahoo email, uh, when, when the, uh, the Bigfoot body is going on tour with Rick Dyer, she called me and said, did you know that there's this guy that has a Bigfoot body and he's taking it around the country? And I said, yes, Mom, that's a hoax. She goes, are you sure? <laughs> I love your mom. He, he's got a body, and he's taken around, and he's been on the news. And that is his real audience. That's who goes to his sideshow circus, whatever you want to call it. That's who paid for his Bigfoot tour. That's why he's able to buy homes and buy cars is because he has the general audience, which includes your mother, Tammy. Right, and had you made it to Oklahoma, Rick, my mother and I were going to go to the state fair and check it out. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> now, um, look at that, Tammy that, is being, that, Tammy that is is being so honest. Look, for Rick. She wanted to see a Bigfoot body. You, you can't know, get more honest than this. You can't get more honest than this. This is, this is what Rick Dyer really is all about. But unfortunately, his name and his reputation is muddied because of his engagement. I will use the word engagement, which includes name calling, smears, defending himself because of your engagement with the Bigfoot community is where you're flawed. If you could have never engaged with the Bigfoot community, would that be your one regret in this Bigfoot circus? No, because if I haven't engaged with the Bigfoot community, then I wouldn't have been on the news, and I wouldn't have been so popular, and I wouldn't have all these offers on the table. And I wouldn't... I believe that God has a path for you, and he chose this path. And I know all the Christians are saying, oh, my God, I wouldn't choose this path. God did cho choose this path. And I tell you the reason he chose this path. From Las Vegas all the way to Texas, we helped people with that tour. Armando Montelongo from Flip This House, uh, I helped him with a couple of huge charity events that did a lot for children. Um, I myself went to Walmart and bought seven big screen TVs in Las Vegas. And I went around to to uh, or, uh, orphanages and gave them the big screen TVs. And I'm not patting myself on the back or trying to make myself look look good, but not everything I do is bad. But everybody knows about this. Everybody, but they only will say the bad stuff. If they find something good about Rick Dyer, they would only say the bad stuff. And that's why the tent video and that's why shooting Bigfoot has never really been debunked. And the reason why is people don't I see the look, but I'm just saying people only look at Rick Dyer. The only one that has looked at the evidence unbiasedly Christopher Noel and many of thousands of people across the world. Okay, Rick, I don't believe any of that for a second. That's just me. Yeah. Okay? I'm not attacking you. Oh, yeah. but remember what I did on Bigfoot Bounty? You, you don't believe what? <laughs> any of that. I don't believe any of that. I'm sorry. Any, any I, of that I, 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 But see, but here's the thing. Rick, uh, Rick, Rick, the Rick, 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 Rick. We can agree to uh, disagree. Uh, and I'm not making it personal. You, I'm not like, Ugh! You, you don't believe anything about the charities? Oh, no, no, no. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm talking about the shooting Bigfoot and oh, the Oh, yeah. Well, 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 that's your opinion. That's okay. okay. Right, right. You know. <laughs> that's okay. Rick Dyer, how many Bigfoot have you shot? Does all gay people like YMCA? Young man, pick yourself up. I knew it. Said, young man. <laughs> Uh, okay. There's a place you can go. I said, young man. <laughs> okay. Anyways, back to the question. How many Bigfoot have you shot? One. You've shot one Bigfoot? Yes. Justin Smea has shot two Bigfoot. He's bigger than you. 
Okay. Why do you hate the Bigfoot community? I don't hate the Bigfoot community. I don't hate the Bigfoot community. That, that is ridiculous. The Bigfoot community hates me. And they hate me because they think, oh, that I make them look so bad, but it's themselves that make them look so bad. And, and there's absolutely no evidence whatsoever that Bigfoot exists. And the uh, Smithsonian said absolutely not. Bigfoot does not exist 100%. If well, you, how dare the Smithsonian say that? Oh, we should start this uh, campaign to drum out the Smithsonian from the United States of America. <laughs> Fuck you, Jeff Kelly. <laughs> how much did you make off the San Antonio Hank on Tour hoax? How much money did you make from selling memberships and DVDs? And what was this gold club shit all about? Wow. Well, um, well, I actually just recently did my taxes for this year uh, so I know exactly how much but what is it uh, what's so important that I say how much it is uh, I will give you a uh, ballpark it's over 500,000 and that is on your taxes oh yeah yeah Will you take me out to dinner? Okay. All right. I put out. Hi. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're joking. Okay. Bigfoot community, <laughs> stop taking yourself so fucking serious. Can't you laugh and make jokes with each other? You guys Lighten are so up. retarded. You're so right. stupid. So, pe so petty. 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 Some people have felt that you as a Christian man have done a no-no by swearing on your children's lives that you killed a Bigfoot and had high definition of a Sasquatch. Explain that. Well, I make a lot of mistakes, uh, but I don't swear on my children uh, if I don't mean it. I, I really did shoot and kill a Bigfoot. And I know people are calling me a liar. I don't care. I don't care. And and I really did have the HD footage. And I thought that it was going to be put out. But it did not. And they still have it. One day it's going to come to light. And when that day comes, then I will shine the other way. Now I'm shining another way. <laughs> Now I'm shining the hoaxer way. But when that day comes, because one day it will come, then I will be shining the other way. And that's all that I can say about that. Rick Dyer, can you agree that engaging in... <sighs> What's the word I'm looking for? Hate. Uh, in your cruel comments that you have said that you say you've had to use to defend yourself etc cetera, etc cetera, and the cruel things that you have said and done has that detracted you in any way from making money has that harmed you because the tour that you went on you made most of your money in Texas but then when you made it to Florida the word had gotten out about you and all these haters and all no, these no that's that's absolutely not true the reason we did not make it good in Florida is because we went to a bike week where there's absolutely no kids. All I would say 90% of our customers were kids. Now, after bike week, we went to a, a uh, amusement park in Valdosta, Georgia. And after that, we probably made more in that... Uh, park than we made in Texas combined. Most people don't know that. Another question. Has it always been your goal at the young age of four to hoax people? Why do you want to torment people? This is from your fans. Okay, so It kind of reminds me of Jim and Tammy Faye Baker, but they got in trouble. You haven't yet. Why well, is that? Why is that? Because this is Bigfoot. This is something that the world thinks that it's not tangible. It's not tangible. That's like saying I have a dead Easter bunny or a tooth fairy in inside my truck. Oh, I forgot. 
Someone did call the cops on me in, in Daytona Beach. And what happened there? I charged the police to go in and look at the body because they said it was a real body. And then what happened after that? And after I charged them to go in, they laughed and they took pictures uh, with them like selfies with the Bigfoot and they left. You know, you are like the Kim Kardashian of the Bigfoot community. People love to hate on you, yet they're drawn to you, your every move. Well, can I say something else, Mr. Richter? Don't you dare call me honey boo-boo. <laughs> no. No. Because um, that's Tammy. <gasps> the crazy part. <laughs> Tammy. <laughs> uh, hey, Tammy, you do live in Guthrie, hey. Oklahoma. <laughs> The crazy part, Richter, is is that when I do go to Bigfoot functions or when I do get around other Bigfoot people, they have absolutely nothing bad to say. They are really nice. I have uh, been around Craig Woolheater, and he bought he brought like at least twenty people, at least twenty people to see the Bigfoot, including... Um, Lyle Blackburn. Yeah, Lyle Blackburn and all those guys. Really nice people. Really nice people, folks. Uh, and and they don't talk about me, and no one talks about me until they're not around me no more. Like, in front of my face, oh, hey, how you doing? Da, 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 best friends, and then... Then some of them will get home and say, oh, Rick, Rick Dyer came to our function. I cannot believe that. They, uh, they don't say anything bad about me. They just say, oh, I cannot believe a hoax or was at our function. But they don't say that to my face. And a lot of people don't understand that I have some friends. And I'm not going to mention no, no names because associating with me is like a – like it's, a death sentence. Yeah, it's bad for business with their yeah. egos and their false image of who they're trying to portray themselves to be. Yes, yes. But like, Jeff, like Jeffrey Kelly. Right, right. Daniel? For example. For, instance. for example. Yeah, exact, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, he'll, he'll be... Mm, like, be I, like I have people in the Bigfoot community that, oh, Randy would be so shocked, so shocked that that is my friend, and I can call them my friends. Um, and and it's, it's, it's just crazy. And then, but see, Rick, I've seen videos online uh, of people going after no, well-known Bigfoot researchers, shaming them, saying, how dare you be friends or have any kind of engagement with oh, Rick yeah. Dyer. Okay, you Bigfoot people... Do not own any one of us. Granted, we are public figures. And by being public figures, some of us have been on TV, like me and Rick. Uh, we are kind of signing our lives over to this. And the public will think they own us in some strange way or fashion. It's kind of bizarre. And you have, you, it's okay, you know, it's like signing, making a deal with the devil. So public figures that are Bigfoot researchers who associate or are friendly with hoaxers or attention whores like me are raked over the coals. It's like this, Ricky, that, you know, we both, you and I both, have friends who associate with or are good friends with people who we can't stand, who have verbally assaulted us, trash-talked us on Facebook and still do, and have hurt our basically hurt us, and so we have done what we've blocked and moved on. But you know what? With Rick Dyer, he's never done anything to me. And those are words to live by that were told to both you and I by a mutual friend that you know was associating with people that we can't stand. That's actually hurt us. Well, he's never done anything to me. So, uh, you know, that's what, what my response is, is that, you know, Rick Dyer has never done anything to me. I'm not, you know, my husband and I aren't going over to his house and hanging out and going out to dinner or anything. And if we were, that's none of your business. 
Yeah. Right? Who I choose to forgive is none of their business. Who whose dick I suck is none of their business. And if I suck, if I suck Rick Dyer's dick, it's none of your business. All you know? of that aside, it takes a real man to accept an apology. Are you saying that Richter's a real man for accepting Rick Dyer's apology? <gasps> Thank you, Tammy. You're welcome. Well, I take I take it for face value. I believe him. I choose to believe him because I want to think that, yeah, there is good in him. Hell, you know I love Star Wars. If Darth Vader could turn around and become the good guy at the end of Return of the Jedi, maybe Rick Dyer can too. All right, well, that is the end of our first part of our two-part interview with Rick Dyer. You know what? Come back next week when we talk to Rick Dyer about Michael Merchant and his working relationship with him. And what happened to Team Taser? It all comes out here. Plus, we also talk about Steve Coles and Rick Dyer's relationship, for a lack of a better word. And what Rick Dyer did to Lauren Coleman's book, which I don't think is cool. Shame on you, Rick. Bad Rick. I have a lot of respect for Rick Dyer for this reason and this reason alone. He knows how to accessorize because he shops at... SweetSassyGlassyBaby.com Be sure to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up, baby. Rick Dyer is the best Bigfoot tracker in the world. <laughs> okay. A lot of unnamed sources outside the Bigfoot community has told me that Michael Merchant did, in fact, win the Spike TV contest.